shring ka e i la ring asa ka la ring sa ka la ring sa hoin kling ring shring namaste <laughs> so today we're going to talk about the panchadashi mantra but before we get into that I want to say something about mantra in general and how it works. Man means mind and tra comes from trayate which means to protect or deliver. So mantra protects the mind. How does it do that? Well, a mantra is composed of a set of syllables that have certain meanings and that produce a particular impression on the mind. For example, we just went over in the previous videos of this series all the principal bijas of the Shodashakshara mantra, 16 syllable mantra. And these represent a series of highly exalted thoughts which are derived from the uh, sound vibrations of the Sanskrit letters composing them. Each one is like a compound of several letters, in some cases up to five. So when these meanings are welded together, so to speak, in a compound uh, word, a compound letter, a compound symbol, a glyph, like Aum. Ring also has its own gif, uh, glyph, but it's very hard to find. I, I couldn't find an example. Kling also. So each of these has a specific meaning and a certain vibration, which, even if you don't know the meaning, <laughs> will invoke a particular uh, power, a particular shakti. Of course, the effect is much enhanced if you do know the meaning. <laughs> That's why we've been going into so much detail on all these. So what this does is it produces a series of impressions in the mind. Or actually what we call the mind is simply a succession of thoughts. Thoughts and thoughts and thoughts and thoughts, right? But what are these thoughts about? What is their quality? Well, usually it's pretty mundane, you know. Oh, I'm hungry, I'm tired, or I feel good, or I feel bad, or this or that. Or so-and-so said this and that, and dang it, I should have replied by saying this, you know. Second-guessing, replaying, uh, old incidents, and like that. Now, most of the contents of the mind are actually pretty mundane, aren't they? Desires, hopes, dreams, huh? I mean, we have a whole world of dreams at night that we enter into. And these are all the mind just chewing on its impressions. So at the end of the life, you know, it's said that your whole life flashes before you. What does that mean? It means that the impressions that are recorded in the mind are kind of rewound Huh? like a tape recorder, rewinding and compressed into like an archive form. And this archive of the thoughts and impressions of this life become the seed of the next life. And this is going to uh, be confirmed in Bhagavad Gita. Yang yang vapi smaran bhavam tyajatante kalevaram Tang tang evaiti kaunteya sadata bhava bhavitaha. That the last thought, or actually the last state of being that one remembers upon leaving the body becomes the next body. In other words, it's the seed that determines the quality of the birth, the quality of consciousness the quality of the karma, and so on, and the destiny in the next life, the destination. So, 
The practice of mantra produces a repetitive sequence of impressions which fills the mind up with beautiful thoughts. Huh? Each of the bijas that we have analyzed so far is an extremely beautiful, noble, pure, and directed towards realization of God. Self-realization, God-realization, same thing. Enlightenment, whatever you want to call it. So when we practice mantra, we create many, many impressions of a very exalted quality in the mind. And at the end of life, when the whole life is rewound and compressed into a seed, these impressions become very dominant and influence the state of being in the next life. And even in this life, of course, they produce wonderful effects, you know. It's very nice to start out the day with mantra practice and then feel the result of all these beautiful thoughts. I was just chanting this morning and feeling so satisfied. <laughs> so you should practice this regularly. Uh, that's why we use the beads. And at the end of this series, I'll go into like how you chant, you know, practically every day. And we'll show a lot of details on that. So now I want to talk about the Pancha Dashi Mantra. Pancha means five. Dasha means ten. So Pancha Dasha means fifteen. Pancha Dasha Akshara. Akshara means a syllable. So the fifteen syllable mantra is the heart of the 16 syllable Shoda Shakshara Mantra. And this is the main mantra. This Panchadashi Mantra is the main mantra of Lalitam. Huh? Lalitambika, the wife or consort of Shiva. So uh, I'm going to include a link in the video description where you can go and learn about her and who she is and what she is. Basically, she is consciousness. And Shiva is unconditioned awareness, non-dual, objectless awareness. She is awareness with an object. That's consciousness. And then she goes on to fabricate so many objects. <laughs> Unlimited fractal duplications and reflections of the original divine couple. So anyway, the uh, Panchadashi Mantra is the heart of Mahashodashi Mantra, and it's the third, fourth, and fifth lines, as you can see here. And then these 15 bijas uh, include uh, six of them not covered already in the explanations above, and here they are. So, since this mantra has 15 bijas, it's called Panchadashi. And the Panchadashi mantra is divided into three groups of bijas. Each one's called a kuta. So the three kutas are Vagbhava kuta, Kamaraja kuta or Madhya kuta, and Shakti kuta. These three kutas represent Lalitambika's form. Vagbhava Kuta represents her face. Kama Raja Kuta represents her torso from neck to hips. And finally, Shakti Kuta represents her legs and feet. So this is one of the reasons why Panchadashi Mantra and also the Shodashi uh, Mantra are so powerful. Because actually the form of Shakti is embedded in the mantra. And they represent a triangle, which is also shown in a diagram, uh, an inverted triangle, which represents her yoni. So this is why Panchadasi Mantra is highly confidential. So we don't usually give this in public, but given the dire situation in the world today, I think this mantra has to get out and reach the people who are qualified to chant it. 
That's why we're going to so much trouble to present this, even though it's not a very popular topic. <laughs> you see the number of views is very less. So, okay. The Vag Bhavakuta consists of five bijas. Kae i la ring. Madhyakuta consists of six bijas. Hasakaha la ring. And Shaktikuta consists of four bijas. Sakala ring. So we have 15 bijas in Panchadasi. So where does this mantra come from? Well, it's very hidden. Uh, I would liken it to a key. You know, a key, if you look at it without knowing what it is or what it's for, a key looks like a kind of a weird abstract shape, you know? All these little teeth or whatever they are, you know? Some keys now have holes instead and they're all, all weird and different. So unless you knew what it was for, it would be very hard to understand, you know, what this thing is, isn't it? So a mantra like this is also a key. Well, what does a key do? It opens a door, right? So this mantra opens a door into a certain state of being, and that being is Shiva and Shakti in union. This is a very rare thing. Most people never get to experience. Even if you experience Kundalini rising, you may not have this highest state of consciousness, or it may not be permanent. Well, the effect of this mantra, especially when it's chanted for a long time, is to make this state of union of Shiva Shakti permanent. So it's a very powerful mantra, and it gives such deep satisfaction. It's very hard to even express. So these bijas are hidden. Huh? They're not given directly in the scriptures, but they're hidden in a Sanskrit verse, which is it's very technical how it's done. So I'm, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it, but just to mention that they are in a verse in the um, Saundarya Lahari by Shankaracharya. So rather than give the mantra publicly, he he hid them in a very clever way in a Sanskrit verse that unless you have the key by initiation, you could never, you know, extract the mantra. So anyway, the meaning of the bijas, um, I don't know if I can finish this in this. No, I think I'm going to have to do another video to cover the meaning of the 15 bijas in the Shoda Shakara mantra. Aum Tatsat, Buddha Sarai.